Right guys, how's it going? So what am I cooking for you guys this week? So this week I have got an amazing, very authentic and traditional Bangladeshi dish coming your way. Now I've got, I've done all the prep work, so I've got everything laid out here. What I'm going to do is start cooking it very soon. Now it's going to be a lamb dish. You can use a mutton, you can use mutton, you can use chicken, you can use beef, anything that you fancy. Now the star of the show for this recipe is this thing here guys. It's called shakura, which is a um, bitter citrus from Bangladesh. Um, cook this really well with a spice blend and you will have an absolutely amazing dish. Um, it, is, it is gorgeous. Um, so yeah, having said that guys, I'm gonna crack on and start cooking this dish for you now. Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. On this week's video guys, I'm very excited to share this traditional, authentic Bangladeshi recipe with you. It has been highly requested by one of our viewers, so thank you so much and we're so pleased that we can accommodate this for you. Now guys, if you are new to our channel, please hit that like button, and so subscribe to the channel, as well as comment and share our channel with others, guys. We really appreciate your help and thank you so much for your support. Having said that, guys, let's crack on with our um, curry this week. It's gonna be lamb shakura curry. Um, shakura is a bitter um, citrus in English and it is, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous guys. It does the curry um, absolute justice. So let's crack on and with our cooking. Right so first thing we're going to do guys as standards put the heat on and we're going to add our oil. There we go. So about two to three chef's food of cooking oil. I've got vegetable oil in there. Right, so first thing I'm going to do guys, after we've got oil in there, we're going to add in our whole spices. So I've got it on low heat currently. So we've got two bay leaves. I've got about two or three small cinnamon stick. Put that in there. I've got about four to five cloves. And I've also got some three cardamom that I'm going to put in. I've got about just under half a teaspoon of coriander seed. And I've also got similar, just under half a teaspoon of black pepper seeds. Just going to get that slightly sizzling away. It's in about, about 20 to 30 seconds, guys, I've been on low heat. I've been just sizzling the whole spices away. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to brown off the meat. I'm just going to put the lamb in there. Lamb has been washed and so forth, so just put that in there. I've got just over 500 grams of lamb here, guys. Once the lamb has browned up, guys, we're going to add our ginger and garlic paste. So this is a tablespoon of garlic paste. I was into paste and I'm using one tablespoon of whole, uh, well not whole, um, fresh ginger, finely chopped. Let's get all of that mixed in. The aroma already, guys, is coming out. It's absolutely amazing with the whole whole spice I put in there with the ginger, fresh ginger coming in. So try and use fresh ginger uh, when you're cooking lamb, lamb curry, guys. It's, it, it just takes it to a whole another level. So when you are cooking with fresh ginger and lamb, it's absolutely beautiful, guys. So I'm just going to let that cook for about two to three minutes before I add our onions in there. Okay guys, so it's been about two to three minutes since we put the ginger and garlic in there. So what I'm going to do now guys is add in our onion. 
So I do like. So this is I've got just over just under three well three onions in there. It means about two hundred and twenty grams of onion. It wasn't too big onions, like medium to small size onions. So hence why it's about three in there, about two hundred and twenty grams it was. Now just gonna get that all mixed in there now, guys. Also, what we're going to do now, guys, is add in our salt. So I've got one and a half teaspoon of salt. So again, add to taste. Well, now I'm going to cook this for about two to three minutes before I add in our tomatoes. So let's do that. Okay, guys, it's been about a couple of minutes since we've put the onions in this. All I'm going to do now guys is add in one tomato, just roughly chopped. And for now guys, that's all we're going to do now. This is our first stage done. So what I'm going to do now guys, leave that on medium heat. And I'm going to put a lid on it. And I'm just going to wait, hang on, put that lid on it. And I'm just going to wait for the lamb to get nice and soft now. And uh, this could take about about hour, hour and a half. So for now, I'm not gonna put any water in there. I'm just gonna let the the water from the lamb and everything come 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 through. Um, do check it every now and again. Stir it every now and again, guys. And if you need to add water, please um, add hot water, hot uh, boiling water in there. Um, once that's done, uh, we're gonna add in our spices and so forth. If you guys, don't forget guys, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, share our channel with your friends and family, and of course, guys, um, do comment and let us know what you think. And um, yes, yeah, so I'll see you guys very soon. Okay, guys, it's been about 10 minutes or so, so let's see what is what it's doing. Okay, open. There we go. Perfect, check it out. So this, oh, guys, this, this smells so good, guys. Absolutely amazing. Love it. So I've just got it on medium, medium heat, guys. So what I'm going to do now, let's put this down for a minute. I'm just going to add some hot water in there. So I'm going to cover it up with hot water all the way to the top for now. I probably will add more water as we go on. But I'm going to check it every, to every about 15 minutes or so just to make sure um, it doesn't stick to the pan or anything like that. I'm going to stir it occasionally. So make sure you guys do that, guys. And it should, like I said, it should take about an hour and a half for the lamb to get really nice and tender and soft for us, okay? So see you guys in a bit. Let's put the lid back on. And leave it on medium heat to so forth, all right? See you soon. Okay, guys, it's been about... An hour or so it's been cooking away. There we go, that looks lovely. Right, so what I'm going to do now, guys, um, yeah, I'm going to add it in. One of the good things about cooking that is you can just put everything in and let it just cook for a couple of hours and curry will come up absolutely fine. So, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to add in our spice. So this has got our chilli powder, our turmeric and also our mixed curry powder in there. I will leave the measurements in the description box below guys, so do check that out. And this has got cumin and coriander powder in here guys. Just going to give this a quick mix.
I'm just going to leave it on low heat for a second while I um, while I talk to you guys, actually, guys. So one of the things I'm using on this recipe is called shakura. Now, it comes in a packet like this, the shakura, which is bitter citrus. Um, it's from Bang Bangladesh, and it looks like so these are the these are the ones the frozen one I've got. So it looks like oh, there, it, there it is. So yeah, so that's what it. Now I've only got three pieces left. I probably would have used about another one or two pieces in this recipe. So if you do use about five hundred grams, guys, of a lamb, and you get these these ones in a package, you can get them from your local Bangladeshi shops, that uh, the grocery shops and so forth, and they they will sell them. Now, back in the days when we couldn't get these um, frozen, we used to uh, be able to get them seasonal and it was such a special time to look really forward to the season where we can have shathura and, and, and lamb and it was like in a few times a year. Uh, but now, really guys, you can just buy them um, frozen you know, throughout the whole, whole year. And um, yeah, so that's, that's what it is. And as it's frozen, I've got the... You know, I've got the water in here, so I'm go up there. I've got the water in here. I'm going to be using this water later on just to infuse it, and that's where it's going to be even that water is going to be more flavoured with the bitter citrus. So, as you know, guys, I've got the spices in there. So, what we're going to do now, guys, I'm going to cook the spice for about seven to eight minutes before we add in the citrus and more water. I'm going to put it back on medium heat now. Now remember guys when we are cooking our spices spices just like we are now once if the spice start catching to the pan guys just add a little bit more hot water at a time and all we're going to do now guys is just make sure our spice is getting cooked really well so don't worry about the spice catching as long as it's not burning you are fine Medium heat. Let it go. Give it a nice little mix. Now that you can see it's catching to the bottom of the pan, so it's not burning, so it's absolutely fine, guys. So I'm going to do, I'm going to add the water from here. Give it a nice little mix, guys. Just make sure, and if, if the spice are caught to the bottom, just scrape them off. There we go. Now, these are the shakura, which is the bitter uh, citrus. Now, you can add them as just as whole, but what I like to do is just cut them. So, I'm just going to cut them. Normally I would chop it up beforehand, but I've just left it whole to show you the size and how it comes into the packet pack as well. Now this is going to be citrusy bitterness, so so what we have to do, guys, is make sure the spices that I've put in it balances the bitterness and the flavour from the spice comes out, and and the combination really works really well, and it complements together well if you put too much of the shatkara the bitter um the, uh, the bitter citrus in it's going to be too bitter hence why um use caution um use minimal first of all and then once you're so comfortable with it guys and you're cooking bigger portions you can add more as well as with this dish what you will find is that 
if you have any leftovers the following day is is going to taste much better but also is going to be the the bitterness from the from the shatkura is going to come out even more so what we're going to do now guys it this is pretty much what we're going to do for now i'm going to add a bit more water in because i still want to cook i want the lamb to be really ni nice and soft so we've got some hot water here before i do that guys i want to show you guys Again, close zoom up. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Amazing. The lamp cut I've gone for, just in case if you're wondering, I've gone for a mixed lamp, mixed lamp here. So it's pretty much got a bit, a bit of everything in there. And it's also on the bone, on the bone as well. So you can have a lot of flavour coming through on the bones. So I'm gonna hot water. Just gonna top it up. There we go. Now again, this is going to be the sauce that we want. So if you if you'd like it a bit saucy, guys, add add away. If you'd like it more Buna style, uh, you can add. Obviously, you, you need to add enough water so the lamb gets soft, but let it obviously cook for longer. So I'm going to leave this here for about another hour on medium to low heat now, mm -hmm. and that'll be that, really, guys. And that's our lamb shatkora curry almost ready very traditional dish guys as we said very from bangladesh very traditional very authentic dish and uh, every household in bengali household it's a favorite it's a must right so i'm going to let that cook on medium to low heat guys for about an hour hour or so it's another hour left and, um, and then we're done so i'll see you guys soon okay guys it's been about half an hour since we put the water in so quickly there we go Look, oh, that smells really nice, guys. Like, that smells gorgeous. Right, so the sauce is the thickness and the consistency. That's what I want. So I'm just going to leave it on lower heat now, guys. And I'm going to add in some green chili. Again, optional. Up to you if you want to. But I do prefer nice hot curry. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is leave that. And again, just make sure your lamb, anything that's has, has gone soft, okay? Um, because that's where you want. So I'm going to leave that there for about another about 15 to 20 minutes. And after that, guys, we are good to enjoy the curry. So just give it a bit of a close-up. Yeah, that's how we're looking so far. So just leave that on low heat now, guys, and that, that thing. Um, if you've got coriander, guys, fresh coriander, guys, Put them in now guys um, i've run out of coriander i didn't realize so apologies for that but definitely put some coriander fresh coriander leaves in there now right so about another 15 20 minutes guys then our curry is ready and i'll see you soon okay guys so our curry our shatkara lamb shatkara curry has been simmering for about 15 to 20 minutes now guys so let's check it out oh wow yes well, i'm going to take, take it off the heat now guys That smells absolutely delicious. Like, let's zoom, zoom in for you. Well, let's get this zoomed in for you guys. Check it out. There you go. This is our traditional lamb shatkara curry. Check it out, guys. Absolutely amazing. Wow. And this, it smells so good. But the aroma from the spices with the citrusy, with the coriander seeds and the peppers coming really well, guys. So there we go guys so this is our this week's recipe authentic lamb shakara curry um remember guys if you haven't already done so please give this a like subscribe and share our channel with others guys check it out there you go absolutely delicious guys look at that